you know, when we're talking about closing, though, this is when we give the presentation together with the needs and greeds in our analysis. We kind of blend them together. We have a tentative commitment. So uh, th uh, coming out of the qualification step. We know they have the need, uh, they have the need, they have the money and time and everything. And it's a certain time frame, and they have the authority and everything else. So we know up front, unless they're a pathological liar, and we get those too sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's why I love video, because it's much it's much easier to read somebody if they're obfuscating or lying or so or, or manipulating you. You can kind of watch, you can see the uh, not just listen for the voice patterns, but you can watch the eyes and hands and things like that and see if there's a tell. You know, anybody here ever play poker? And there's something all poker uh, players look for. It's called a tell. When yeah. somebody has a bad hand or, or a good hand, sometimes they might scratch their ear and do it repetitively. If you learn how to read the tells, you learn how to read the prospects sometimes. So we take the information and then we review it with them. And basically, and then we go, and then we ask the big question. So Audrey, you said to me, you're looking for a house in West Hollywood. You want to spend 1.5 to $5 million. Um, and if I can find something that meets your needs in the quality neighborhood you want, how, do, how would you feel about that? We would buy it right away. Okay. You don't mind if we do a contract here so I can represent you and, and, and take care of the paperwork required by the law of California, do you? Sign no. Thank you. Boom. That's a review with a commitment. Then we go to the satisfy. Audrey, the house we just looked at, I think it fits your budget perfectly. I think it's, good. it's a little higher than we said originally, but the way this market is, this probably, property will probably be worth another fifty dollars to $100,000 by next year. Um, it, it allows you to have more room in a better school district. It allows you to move your mom into the house or your dad. Um, it, it's a shorter commute for you. Um, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about all this? Does this satisfy you? Well, you know, I, you know we, it, it's in the perfect area, but we don't like the layout. No, oh, okay. I should have picked somebody else because I knew you were going to give me a hard time here, <laughs> which I love. It's real world. Who wants to, who wants to, jump, uh, uh, who wants to jump into Audrey's position here for a second? Go ahead, Rochelle. Your eyes say yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right do you so want to Rochelle, if uh this house i think uh, did you like the house that we looked at um today over in beautiful downtown reno i you know what i did i i, I like this i had a good vibe okay what about the money it's a little bit more money i know you only wanted to spend x amount and this cost about fifty thousand more and um you know is that comfortable for you because that's a little above your budget right now Mm, you know, it is a little bit above my budget. I might have to think about this one, Claude. Well, you know I, I like the house, but... But the way the market is going, Audrey, I think this is the, uh, the house in itself and the location are fine for what you were looking for, right? Yes. And they will save so, you a lot of money because right now you have a 45-minute commute and this would, this would say knock it down to 10 minutes. So you'd save a lot of time and money in gas and travel expense. Also, this, since this property is uh, 50000 more, it's going to cost you an extra $50 a month on a 30-year mortgage. Is that, that isn't that much money, is it? I mean, it's 50 bucks, but is that comfortable for your budget? When you, when you put it in that, when you put it that way, that helps me see it a little clearer. So okay. actually, that might be something I could, I could live with. Okay. Plus, the way the real estate is going, this might appreciate significantly over the next 12 to 24 months, the way things are going on this particular property. Um, so is there any, are you comfortable if we put in, how about we put in an offer today, see what happens, and we can, and would you be comfortable if we could, if it's accepted and we could move forward today? I could write it up, I could send it to, I could send it, and we're all done. How do you feel? I'd be comfortable doing that. I'm sorry, what? I, I, would, I would be comfortable doing okay, that. Good for you. You're not going to call me up tomorrow and say, Claude, oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. I had to change your heart, right? You're, kind of, you're a mature businesswoman. I know you're, you're a person of your word. Correct. Thank you for that. Boom. You're welcome. That's a guts close. It's direct. It's honest. It's we review everything. We give the presentation combined with what we've gl gleaned from them the information we've gleaned from them. And we get a commitment, move forward. We use redirection a little sometimes. You wouldn't want to spend $50 more. There's another rule. If you're going to have a fight or you've got a problem, take care of it up front. Because $50 or more for some people on a monthly payment might, might not be comfortable. 
Okay, so what, what, did you see how I discussed it right up front with her? Who has comments, questions, or wants to do a role play with me? <laughs> 